My name's Michael Henry and I'm the musical director, composer, arranger and I'll probably be playing one or two little instruments in the pre-recorded soundtrack. The importance of music to this time in history was that it was kind of uh, a haven, a conduit, it was, um, it was a device by which uh, an oppressed people could really communicate with each other under the radar, if you like. Blues very much comes from the African tradition. Basically, the Western side of pitching has the well-tempered clavier. You know, we have 12 semitones, but the blues third and the blues seventh would have come from a more natural harmonic series. And that would have been migrated from African cultural sound production. Virtually any pop song now would have a, if I was to sing a la da da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, as part of the kind of uh, major scale, but if with the blues third and seventh, it would be more la da 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 da. And that, those kind of changes, which you'll hear throughout pop music would have come, would have come over from Africa. Call and response singing, which we're so familiar with, that would be a, a technique of keeping up motivation through vocal calls, demonstrations, you know, what do we want? Eh, eh, eh. When do we want it? Nah. You know, all sorts of vocal calls, call and response, that would have also come from an African tradition of vocal delivery. So, yeah, it's kind of everywhere. Hemiola, there's another one. Hemiola being three against two. We have a... So whether it be a Tarantella or a 633 squadron. So the idea of three against two, that comes from African rhythms. It's actually a very positive challenge to try and stay historically accurate. But at the same time, throw in other references that, you know, you can just like mix up to, to suit you, really. You can get away with anything. <laughs>